right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. exciting here in D.C. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers really of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee set to go for a co-main event. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. Great punch landing with so much power. Left hand getting very active. Great punch. Oh, nice hook by Lee. He's trying to establish the jab early on here. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice jab by Lee. So more output, at least in the early going. That punch, no good. Get out of there. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Fighter lands a kick now and a pretty good one at that. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Lands a quick jab. Downstairs. With the overhand. And he's throwing his punches with some conviction. You no, know, he's actually trying to make a statement when he throws it. Vectic gets tattooed by that straight punch. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. 
Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Grind it out. Whiffs on the right hand. Left hand connection and a right. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Under two minutes to go. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Score with the takedown. And a miss with the right hook. Right on the button. Punches and bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. All right, it's time to start using that low kick. Strike lands cleanly there. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Under a minute to go. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those he might get. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Nice punch by Ben. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Oh, he's very bad. All right, what a five minutes it was, DC. Take us through the replay if you would. The story of the round was the knees. Every time they came into contact, he was looking to drive his knee into the body of his opponent. And if his opponent ever thought body knee coming, he would just mix up the target and try to take it up top. You ready to fight? Ready. Do round two on the way. All right, next round is underway. The knee strikes, really the big storyline in the previous round, whether it was the body, the head, the knee was there. The knees. I mean, how often do we see that anymore? Clinch knees, knees from the outside. A person that understands base management to this degree that they can land all those beautiful knees. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, huge left. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Bektik's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. They're going at it now. Big inside kick. 
Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. Oh, oh I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, big overhand. What a beautiful body kick. And the strike lands clean. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. 90 seconds to go. Ooh, what a punch. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Barely missed there. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Good body work with that hook by Lee. Under a minute now to go. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Bechtick gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. It's aggressive to a f and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Sit down. Slow that breath. Relax and listen. That was perfect, okay? You're doing really well. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both oh! He's hurt. He's wobbling. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Bechtick. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Well, 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Swing and a miss with that punch by Mursad Bekti. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. That knee, that knee hurt him. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice straight there by Becton. Oh, nice. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Oh, nice. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice hook. Oh, big knee to the body. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Misses with the right hand. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. More than one, more than one. Punches, Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Becton. Oh, Timely defense there, huge block for him. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. He went hard on that one. Oh, big left hand. Bechtick gets by that straight punch there. Whiffs on that offering. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best. Oh! He's in a ton of trouble right now. Big right hand there. Lee gets hit with that overhand. Well, these gentlemen are absolutely going at it. Let's see who'll have the upper hand. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Clean with the right hook. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. And there's that jab. Man, he is hurting for certain. I don't care how many planks, crunches you do. The oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Now a knee. Uh, how about those five uh, minutes? All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds.
All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, big left hook there. Hands on your face. Nice jab there by Beckton. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Just misses with the jab there. There's the kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Just over three minutes to go. Right hand, then a left. Big power shot there. Bektik's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Good stick. Bektik gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch to the head. Two minutes remain in the round. Great job landing multiple kicks. Well, he misses with the left punch there. He's tired. Both guys are. They worked hard. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now... Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, Grab or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Oh, big left hook there. Back and forth we go. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Final seconds. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. 20 down, five to go. All 
right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win Ready, this fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Beckton. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Beckett going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Landed that overhand right flush. Downstairs. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Wind it up. Overhand is good. Oh, and another punch by Beckton. There's a kick. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, he is black and blue all over, maybe even dealing with a fractured rib, but the body strikes have been the narrative in this one. It feels like we're getting close to a stop. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he'd be able to take many more. We may be one body shot away from this guy just not being able to stand. Toughness on full display, but he got beat by the better fighter tonight. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Let's go. Nice block. Just out of range with that strike. now Let's go, oh this could just about do it oh with authority the body good straight hand there by Mursad Bechtel doing work with the jab there Hook to the head by Beckton. Back and forth we go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take right. a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, tags him with the overhand. Maybe the opponent thought the jab was coming instead the
wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Until the final horn, that one's gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, Ladies the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Bounds. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers